Bryce Tumals from the Drag Boss Garage, and John Kyle from APD, Advanced Product Design. So this video and this series of carburetor adjustment is going to be the float adjustment for the billet enforcer. So I see you have a lot of floats here, John, so there must be, the floats must make a difference of where you need it adjusted. That is correct. Not okay. only there's a different in adjustment, but obviously there's floats for different applications. Um, you know, while these primarily used to be a, a circle track float, okay. um, we found some advantages with the angles for the front of the carburetor, also tunnel ram, different things. Obviously, sure. for a single four barrel, you got to have uh, notches for your jet extensions. Right. So that's the reason for the different floats. And the adjustments, the biggest thing that's different there is the parting line of this float. And the reason that we use that is it's a reference point. Okay. Um, anything else on the float, they, they tend to move around a little bit, but that is where the top and the bottom of the mold meet. So yes. it's very consistent from a given style float to the next float. Now, okay. different style floats will have that party line in a different spot. So Got that's it. the difference for um, different adjustments as far as height. But okay. the reason that that's important is we feel that setting the float level is much more accurate to do statically off the carburetor than on the carburetor. As you put the carburetor on the car, you have fuel pressure, you have whether the car's level or not, whether the engine's level or not. There's all of these things that can aid. If the needle and seat is slightly seeping, um, will drastically skew where your float level is in the sure. sight glass. So while we'll use that to tune with or in a bind where we can't take a few float bowl off, it's much more accurate to start out with it this way. If you put the float in, you measure your party line, for some reason you turn your fuel pump on, and you got fuel dumping out the vent tube or the boosters, right. you know it's not setting correctly, you know that there is a mechanical problem with the needle and seat. Right. So it's so just a way to, yeah, yeah, it's easy to eliminate all of that. But to just the float statically, what we do is we turn the bowl upside down. So now this is the top of the bowl, but it's, it's upside down, so sure, it's on I the see. bottom side. That way that this is setting on the needle and seat. So I got a little closer view, John, so we can see a lot better, so to speak, that parting line, which you can see, guys, is right here. And on these floats, you can see it down here, down here. So that's what we're doing. He's going to use a dial indicator to measure that float level statically. So what you want to do is, with the bowl assembled, ready to go, you want to adjust it so that this parting line is 750 thousandths. Easiest way to do it, set your calipers or you know, if you're gonna use a scale or whatever, you know, know your 750 thousandths. Sure. And then you basically want to turn it so that that party line is 750 thousandths from the inside of the bowl. Now, with a float like this, that 750 thousandths is gonna be 850 thousandths because of how much higher the parting line is on the float. Makes sense. So it's important to know the setting for your float and if you have an oddball float once you set your float correctly if you do it with the sight window you can always tear this off and measure that so next time you have to set it you have a reference point. okay the the reason for this is consistency we, we don't want our floats if you strictly do it with that sight window you're going to get multiple different results okay. for what's going on heat in the motor all these things now while float level is probably one of the most misunderstood as far as tuning to say one float level fits all applications is not correct. There's many reasons we change that. That's for another video. Uh, I've said this before and say it again, before we ever can become expert tuners on this, we need to understand the basics. Um, and once we can do the basics correctly, we can get further in as far as theories and why we set things the way we do. But as a rule of thumb, best way to set the floats from the top of the bowl to the party line, um, 750 thousandths on most floats. There are a few floats, like this is a Holly quick fuel float that has the party line higher. That's one of the few floats that have the party line that high. And uh, we set that one um, at 850 thousandths versus 750 thousandths. But that's the way you wanna set your floats.